Lucid hit with a downgrade today to neutral from buy over at Cantor Fitzgerald after Lucid cut its annual production forecast in its third quarter earnings report. Shares of Lucid taking a hit since that report after the bell Tuesday. Yahoo Finance's Praz Sumeranian joins us with the breakdown. Praz. Hey, Josh, how you doing? Yeah, so not good for Lucid there. Like you said, stock down over 8%. The luxury EV maker missing on sales for the quarter and cutting its full year production forecast to 8 to 8. 8,000 to 8,500 vehicles this year. <clears throat> right among the reasons why Cantor Fitzgerald negative on the stock. Uh, this as the average selling price or ASP for these cars has come down because of price cuts that the company has been implementing for some time now. So you're seeing both a problem here where prices are coming down, but sales are not actually rising. Uh, it seems demand is still an issue here. We've seen that across the EV space now for some time. Now, on the positive side, Lucid confirmed it will reveal its Gravity SUV, its long-awaited uh, EV SUV next week at the LA Auto Show. Uh, that hope that that can help boost sort of sales for the company. And CEO Peter Rawlinson saying, Peter Rawlinson saying that he's excited for that in 2024, but they recognize, quote, that the company is, quote, navigating an uneven macro environment that is also affecting many other Others in the industry. Across, we also had shares of Rivian reversing course. They were higher in pre market trading after the company raised its production forecast. Now they are down. What was in that report specifically? Well, you know, the report specifically was pretty good. I didn't see any negatives there. I think you might be seeing some profit taking, maybe some short covering initially after the bell. Stock was up 8% after the bell yesterday. Now it's down. So we're seeing some some action that people kind of maybe taking some money off the table. But uh, like I said, they reported a narrow loss for the year. They reported uh, they beat on sales. They boosted their full year forecast for production to 54,000 from 52,000. Originally it was 50,000 earlier this year. Uh, and they narrowed their full year adjusted EBITDA loss. So a lot good going on, a lot to chew on there. But I want to note that they also were able to get out of that Amazon exclusive agreement with their delivery vans. They're not able to push and sell those vans to other uh, corporate clients. And, and uh, Rivian said that these EDVs or electric del delivery vans, they actually have a higher margin than their than their consumer cars. So that's good for them too. They're also gonna be implementing some updates at their factory next year to boost efficiency. But um, you know, some analysts also a little bit cautious here. Uh, Alex Potter at Piper saying the company's share price sort of balances recent strong execution, but also this is against a challenging uh, two-year plan that they have, and there's always a possibility of delays and cost overrun. So 2024 is kind of shaping up to be a big year for both Lucid and Rivian, EV makers that haven't exactly made profits just yet. Okay. That is a long list, Praz, by the way. <laughs> Some of these EV makers <laughs> who haven't made profits. One that you are continuing to follow. Praz Supermania, as always, thanks so much for that.